Hi, Larry Stewart here with WarConstructionPros.com. We're at ConExpo 2020. Meet Brady Lewis. He's the program manager for the develop, cases development of Project Minotaur. Project Minotaur is a uh, machine that we heard about three years ago at ConExpo as a concept then, Brady. You guys have brought this down to commercial availability or, or close to it. People will be ordering soon, right? Yes. What, what makes what what makes this thing not a skid steer with a highly developed bulldo bulldozer attachment on it? What makes Minotaur different than any other machine on the market is you really truly have a machine that can serve the role as both a small dozer and a large compact track load. So this dozer blade is actually pinned to the chassis of the vehicle. You're not actually pushing on the loader arms when you're doing a dozing application. You're getting all of that force straight into the vehicle structure. It's got a dozer style undercarriage and mounting scheme that makes this machine operate just like a, a small dozer. In addition, it's got dozer controls. In the cab, there are uh, six-way handles, just as the same exact interface that a customer would have if they ran a big case dozer. Mm -hmm. So it's designed, all the controls, all the mapping is so that a customer can jump in this machine and be productive. And then, say they're done doing their dozing application, say you're working on a, a job site, finishing grade around a house. You finished grade with the dozer, you can decouple this dozer blade is on hydraulic quick disconnects. Mm -hmm. You can drop this thing off in a matter of a minute and a half and put on a set of pallet forks and unload a truck full of sod. So it's, it gives the customer ability to have a machine that gives them two vehicles in one. Right, right. How is, uh, as a loader, how is this machine different from Case's Skidster loader line? So compared to the other CTL lineup, this is a machine that's another step bigger than anything else we have. So our currently, our largest machine is a TV450, is a 4,500 pound rated operating capacity machine. This machine, when you take the blade off and put a bucket on, it's a 5,500 pound rated machine. So we've got 114 horsepower, we've got um, auxiliary high flow, that can run the biggest attachments that are out there. So this machine, not only do you have this, this very powerful, small, compact dozer, but you also have a very high horsepower CTL. Wow, I see. And the, the track uh, unit on this machine is distinctive. Uh, is there, is there a, another, another uh, high drive style track like this in Case's line anywhere? No, this is a kind of a new creation for the, the Project Minotaur. Mm -hmm. um, we've taken a lot of our knowledge from our dozer line and the expertise that we have in that application and combined it with um, what we know from our CTS. Yeah. So the Minotaur vehicle will be available in both steel and rubber tracks and it can um, be configured so that you can have um, either 14 inch or 18 inch wide steel tracks or 18 inch wide rubbers. Um, this allows you to have all of the tractive effort and pushing force that you need when you want steel tracks, but if a customer is doing an application where they need to drive across a driveway or something like that, that the rubber track vehicle may be the one for them. What benefits do you get from the elevated final drive on this machine? So the high drive does keep your um, um, motors out of you know the mud and that type of stuff. Um, for, uh, for us, because this machine is taking some architecture from our CTL lineup, that it's trying to follow that same structure as what we have. We've also kind of taken bits and pieces from the dozers, as we talked about, that the, the rolling components on this undercarriage are some of the same part numbers as we use, say, on our 650M dozers. Are there, are there many uh, parts on this machine that are consistent with big skid steers, or is it, is it mostly unique parts in terms of structures and all that stuff? This vehicle is mostly unique. Yeah. The um, most significant thing that is common is the cab structure. Sure. So this is our new B-series cab with our new 8-inch display, all of the operator comfort improvements that we've made. Um, just recently here on all of our CTLs and skid steer lineup is incorporated in this machine. Um, but the, the lift arm is different, the chassis is different, it is basically um, the next size bigger of everything that we have. All right, all right. Well, I wish you the best of luck with it. Thanks yes, so much for your thank time. Thank you. I appreciate right. it. Thanks a lot.